fellow, you're deeply invested in developing design principles for the dev. But at the same time, it all, almost always drags you know, work in tandem for addressing this what is generated every day. Now, if you look at the office of treated water outside their premises, now apartments, they cannot re re reuse everything, green spaces, which right now, or we have treated effluent which comes from the uh, trying to bridge this gap, and we know that, like, you know, we understand. According to research, by 2050, 23 trillion dollars will be the losses caused by climate change. And that shouldn't come as a surprise because if you turn the news today, uh, everything is about Pakistan losing 10 billion, um, are the United States having floods and droughts uh, that are going to be very costly and very expensive. Nature-based solutions and ecosystems have proven to be very effective and very good in terms of mitigating and adapting uh, our water resources to climate change. We have identified four key success factors, which they are also a, challenges, a challenge to implement. Uh, one would be collective action. We need to agree on what are the challenges, what is the problem, what is the, the solutions we need to implement, and we need to have the same aligned vision. We need science to prove, right? We need data on the table to help us make the right decisions, to make the right calls. The third would be governance. We need the structures to... to um, to understand what are the roles and responsibilities each one of the stakeholders has to implement great solutions. And the fourth one would be, we cannot aim to achieve water security without NBS, nature-based solutions, of course. The challenges really are funding, would be <laughs> the first one. The gap is still huge. But in order to get more funding, we need to be able to, to prove that these projects are really working and they're making progresses and we need to, you know, in order to prove that we need data, we need to use technology, we need to, uh, to bring remote sensing, we need dashboards, we need um, better monitoring and, and evaluation of the projects to keep, to, keep, to keep up. That realistically can take on a green bond and pay it. Por otro lado, también dentro de este mismo grupo de desafíos, no hay challenges to scale up MDS across urban water units as water harvesting programs came out of the study, uh, including for y de algunas de las oportunidades este So there are several key challenges to investing in nature-based solutions at scale. The first is many of the projects are early stage in nature, and they haven't yet figured out where the revenue streams are going to come from to pay for full-scale implementation. We need to be focused on better understanding the science and the outcomes of the nature-based solutions work, and we need to understand what that return on investment will look like by deploying nature-based solutions. That will go a long way in helping us move from theory to application. So a lot of people will say that there isn't capital ready to make investments in nature-based solutions, but if you look at all of the climate and nature commitments coming out of the COP in Glasgow, if you look at the private sector commitments, there is literally billions of dollars sitting on the sidelines looking for nature-based projects to invest in. However, the return expectations of these financiers right now does not fully align with what is possible to be generated from these projects. So we need to bring those things closer together, the ecological and social expecta and economic expectations of the financiers, which what these projects can deliver. Acompañando eh, Alexandra Cruz, candidata de doctora y asistente. Our panel said mental delivery and carbon sequestration, the ability of nature-based solutions to address water security issues. To first of all better understand the water challenges that we face. So that nature-based solutions can be prioritized. 
del BID, con quienes tenemos una historia de 13 años de trabajo conjunto, 